In this video, we will cover the procedure for assigning the inputs and outputs on the ISCCU. Select the Advanced Station Settings from the menu on the left. The inputs on the ISCCU and outputs on the ISCCU, ISSCU, and ISRCU can be programmed for specific needs. For this example, we will show the options available for the ISCCU. Check the box beside the ISCCU Central Control Unit. Click the Advanced Settings button and a new window will open. Select Contact Input and another new window will open. Use the drop-down to select which input you want to program. Select whether you want the contact to be normally open or normally closed. Next, choose the trigger condition. This is what will happen when that input is triggered via another source. Your options are None, Broadcast Chime, or Stop Chime. None is the trigger action by default. Click on the Broadcast Chime radio button if you desire a pre-recorded sound file to be played when this input is triggered. You will then need to select your sound source. Your options are Internal Sound Source or External Sound Source. For this example, we'll select the Internal Sound Source. Next, we'll select the sound file from the list of loaded sound files on our system. Then choose the priority level that this chime will have. In this case, we'll select Urgent. Finally, you'll need to select the zone in which you want this sound file to be sent to. We'll select the All Page zone in this example. The other option for trigger action is to stop a chime that is currently being transmitted on the system. Click the Close to close the current window and return to the previous screen. Select Contact Output. A new window will open. Use the drop-down to select the contact you wish to program. Next, choose the contact type. Your options are normally open or normally closed. Now we will choose what action will cause this relay to trigger. The options are None, Calling Notice, Door Release, External Sound Source, and PA Output. None is the default setting for each relay on this exchange. When None is selected, the relay will not trigger. Calling Notice will be selected if you wish to have this relay trigger when a specific priority level call is placed. You'll need to select on or off for each level of priority you wish to trigger this relay. Select door release if you wish to use one of the relays on the exchange for door release. You'll need to associate this relay to the door station. Only door stations that are physically connected to the exchange can be used. Select the reference button and choose from the door stations on the list. Select external sound source if you wish this relay to trigger when an external sound source is activated. Choose either Sound Source 1 or Sound Source 2. Select PA Output if you wish this relay to trigger when a PA output is active. You will then need to select between the PA outputs on this exchange to associate it to this relay. When finished, click the Close button to close the current window. Click Close again to return to the System Setting page. Click Temporarily Stored to save these settings. If everything is correct, you'll see a red message displayed at the top and bottom of the screen letting you know that the change will not occur until the system is updated. After temporarily storing your settings, you can either update the system or go on to the next video in this series.